what is going on, everybody? Ayo. It is Pixelmires here, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Dual Destinies. When we left off, we are back <laughs> into investigation mode inside the QB Manor. Mayor in the Fox Tenma chamber. all of a sudden turned into a demon lord. You yeah, know? let's not talk about that until <laughs> we go walk and talk to him at some point and be like, hey, what what happened today? <laughs> Detective Fulbright, uh, mind if we search the air duct? Absolutely! Not. not. <laughs> well, since you really are on the side of justice, I suppose I can let you. Plus, my own sense of justice has been called into doubt, so... I wonder if he's been like this ever since the trial. Well, since the justice has been beaten to a pulp, it'll probably take a while for him to recover. I sort of feel bad for him, but we have to work... We have work to do! Let's go get the evidence we need! The air duct is the key. We know the Temmatar impersonator used it to make an escape. After murdering the alderman, the killer left the fox chamber through the hallway door. Then after locking the door from the outside, the killer entered the air duct in the hallway. Finally, the killer dropped the key into the fox chamber through the air vent here. Dink. Yeet! <laughs> Yeet! Then went back through the air duct and fled the manor. That's the illusion that when entering or leaving the locked room was created. If the killer passed through the air duct, maybe we'll find some evidence there. Yeah, maybe some black feathers or something like that. I was actually thinking that. So was I, but that'd be too easy. It's gotta be something surprising. Well, here's our vent. It's awfully high up. Don't worry, I brought a stepladder. Happy hunting! How nice of her to volunteer me for the job. It's just a ladder, by the way. So she calls <laughs> it a step ladder. Well, it's pitch black in here. Well, here goes... Oh, God, I'm worried. We're going to turn on the suit's going to be in there or something. That there goes nothing. terrifying. Exactly. <coughs> it's a stick ladder. That's it. Yeah. <coughs> Oh my god, Ugh. you okay? I don't get it. Huh? Find anything? Yikes, Apollo, what happened? You're covered in dust! Yeah, dust. Lots of dust. So, what'd you find? You know how dust collects on something when nobody uses it for a long time? Yeah, like Mr. Wright's desk back at the office? Yeah, that's the problem. There's dust in there. It was never used. Right, you think it'd be possible to crawl over that sort of dust without leaving any trail? I seriously doubt it. Wait, you're not suggesting no one's gone through that duct lately? Kinda looks that way. And if it's true, Mayor Temma is going to be fingered as the killer. B but, but If we don't turn things around quickly... Injustice we trust! I, Jesus, get shit at me! <laughs> ah, sorry, Mr. Justice! But it seems your justice was not the most just after all. It is my sense of justice that has prevailed. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Uh, Detective Fulbright sure seems chipper all of a sudden. Yeah. And I'm back to my old devastated self. No, oh, come on, was an ever say die spirit? Bring it on, Mr. Lawyer Man, bring it on! <laughs> Let me suffer in peace. Ha <laughs> ha! Justice prevails once more! It's not over yet, and besides, kicking someone when they're down is what bad guys do. Uh, uh, are you calling me a, a bad guy? Me, Bobby Fulbright, champion of justice? Then how about some information on the investigation? We need some help here. Information? About the investigation? All right, but I won't have you calling me a bad guy ever again. Understood? We did it, Apollo. Yeah, but how long can we keep this up? <laughs> how long is he going to keep this energy up? Christ, the investigation. I can't believe Prosecutor Blackwell would stoop that low. I mean, to pinning the blame on a yokai? He really wants a conviction at all costs. She could give a yokai a run for its money when she's mad. She looks evil. <laughs> yes, well... I have him writing a self-reflective essay as we speak. Self-reflective essay. <laughs> I doubt that'll teach him anything. Yeah, he'll probably just write down dotard a thousand times. You dotard! That whole yokai business is most likely a ploy to win a conviction. Truth is, Buster Blackwell believes Jinxie Timma planted that yokai stuff. 
planted it in an effort to protect her father, the real killer. Yeah, right. I'd like to see him prove it. Whoa, calm down. He doesn't have any direct evidence, but we did find this. It was at the base of the cliff just outside Kibi Manor. Wait, that is the staff Tematara was supposedly carrying, is it? The one and only. Miss Tema no doubt tossed over the cliff when she was done. No way! What? Well, what about Prince? Nope, no Prince, but if she was wearing a costume, there wouldn't be any anyway. If anyone was wearing a costume! Well, Prince or no Prince, it's not going to work in our favor. Sounds like that staff might have belonged to the mansion. But if that's the case... Then where in the mansion did Tim Tower get it from? Huh, we gotta find a spot where that could have come from. The Amazing Nine Tails. Did Percy Blackwell figure out that the victim was the Amazing Nine Tails? He did indeed. He's a sharp one, all right. He figured it out while the investigation and municipal merger at the while investigating <laughs> and my victims. Passed. I can't speak. You can't even blame the game on that one. <laughs> no, maybe it's the alcohol I had earlier. Ha <laughs> ha! Fourth wall break. The amazing Nine Tails spoke to the Okai Craze and worked against the merger. And may Damien Tenma is the corrupt politician who murdered the great hero. The amazing Nine Tails fans are so angry they even tried to storm the detention center. Jesus. I don't blame them. I mean, their favorite mass wrestling hero was murdered. They must have been shocked when they found out what happened. Speaking of which, isn't Jinxie also a fan of the Amazing Nine Tails? A wrestler's mask is more precious than his own life. He'd never unmask himself in front of others. He's like a Mandalorian. Jeez. But there are matches where wrestlers battle for the right <laughs> to remove each other's mask. That is the way. I know, we still haven't finished watching it. I know, we're on the last two episodes. To have your mask torn off is the worst humiliation a, man to, a wrestler could have. <laughs> well, that's why their masks are more important to them than life itself. She spoke with a passion that only a fan could appreciate. We ought to become fans ourselves and go protest in front of the prison. What? No! Did you forget that Mayor Tema is not only Jinx's father but our client? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You be careful now, you're defending the most hated mayor in history. I just hope you don't find yourself on the wrong end of a figure four leg lock. Jesus. Maybe I should wear a mask to hide my identity. What's a figure four leg lock? That's a submission hold made famous by Ric Flair. Anyways, <laughs> are there any other new developments we should know? Hmm, now that you mention it. Our suspect is suffering partial memory loss, but he did manage to remember something. He did? What did he say? He said he didn't want to speak with us. His guy goes, I am under no obligation to speak with you mortals. Oh. And other things of that nature. <laughs> I wonder what Mayor Tema remembered. I love his little finger things. Yeah. Too bad you can't go ask him now, because Prosecutor Buck was busy questioning him. Oh. I know, why don't you wait down at the playground with the rest of the kids? Ha <laughs> <sighs> ha! What now, Apollo? How about regrouping back at the agency? Good idea. We might get some words of wisdom out of Mr. Wright while we're there. Goodbye, moon men. Okay. Oh my god. All right, anything agency. Let's go back home. April 18th, right? Anything agency. Da -da -da. <laughs> Maybe I'll create over some past cases. That's a that's a that's a big book to go through, Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll go do some research on exorcisms. Hey, what's with you guys? You seem bummed out. How should I put this? It's like we're at the edge of a cliff, and the only way is down. In other words, business as usual, right? <sighs> yeah, I suppose so. Except this time, it's like we're bound and gagged, too. Ah, oh, kinky. <laughs> Don't you... Don't forget blindfolded <laughs> with our ears plugged up. <laughs> Trucy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Are you... Oh, and monsters at every turn, huh? Sounds rough. Hey, Apollo. No oh, one Athena's here, too. Mr. Wright. How goes the investigation, Apollo? Athena? Uh, I think it's safe to say that things have gotten hairier than before. Or really? Or featherier. What happened? Well, let's talk then, Phoenix. Our defense is horrible. Yeah. I was watching the two of you this morning from the gallery. Oh, that's right. That was one tough day in court, to say the least. His face. I know. I've never had to defend a yokai before. That business about the locked room was another major hurdle. Yeah, and on top of that, Jinxie was accused of being an accomplice. But at least you figured out how someone could have escaped the Forbidden Chamber. 
Yeah, well, we just found out that our reasoning might be a tad flawed. Oh, really? Well, that's uh, bad news. Yeah. How are we going to get out of this one? The worst of times are when lawyers have to force their biggest smiles. Oh, force a smile? Yeah, my mentor taught me that back when I was still learning the trade. Someone taught her that! <laughs> <laughs> she also taught me to return to the basics whenever I got stuck. Return to the basics? That's right. Always believe in your client, no matter what happens. Yeah. That is the lawyer's greatest and most trusted weapon. The basics. Or the basics! Always believe in your client, huh? Isn't that something Diego told <clears throat> Mia also? Yeah. Yeah. So, er, so, Mr. Ray, how long have you known Athena? Met her during a trip to Europe. Huh? Y you were in Europe? That's news. Why haven't I heard about this before? Yeah, I went there a few times to study various legal systems over there. Because everybody oh, fucking else okay. does, apparently. It, <laughs> wait a minute. I thought you worked as a pianist after you quit practicing law. I did, but an old friend of mine needed help with some legal work from time to time, so... Uh... Oh, I guess you're never very far from the courtroom then. You're getting some time in with this with this famous Miles I've heard about. So or maybe it was uh, Francesca, because remember she went overseas too. True. But who knows? Ah, it was like Miles. fate brought us together. Thanks to Mr. Wright that I became a lawyer at all. <laughs> I knew she was lawyer material from the moment I met her, and I have high hopes for her ability to analyze people's emotions. <clears throat> Aww, it's nothing special. <laughs> hmm. They have an underestimate of the analytical psychology of hers. It's just, I thought that if my special ability could help defend innocent people, then I had to do everything in my power to bring it to the courtroom. That's when I really started hitting the books hard. I'm still amazed she actually became a lawyer. And at the tender age of 18, no less. Well, that's almost superhuman. <laughs> or personal, like she's trying to help somebody she knows. <laughs> All right, I'm totally pumped up for talking to you, Mr. Wright. It's like you said, the worst times are when lawyers have to force their force their biggest smiles. <laughs> Jeez. Force their <laughs> biggest smiles. And don't forget to return to the basics whenever you get stuck. Keep believing in my client. Right. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? What if my client thinks he's a yokai? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to visit our client again. I think that's a good idea. All right. Time to see what's new down the tension center. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. What nightmare I'm about to walk into. Oh, no. All right. Mayor Tenma, we wanted to talk to you about something. Gotcha! Eh? <sighs> <sighs> so my minions have returned. <laughs> he's, he's still, he, he still thinks he's a yokai. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if we'll ever be able to talk to Mayor Tenma again. Silence, peddler of, peddler of the legal trade. Free me from these imprisoning walls with great hus haste. With great haste. <laughs> wow. He's sounding more and more like a real demon with every sentence. I'm starting to wonder if we should even be helping him win his freedom. Still, we can't let Mayor Tenma stay possessed, you know what I mean? If you can clear me of these charges, I'll help in whatever man I may. Now ask of me what you will! I suppose it's worth a shot. Jesus. Oh man, I'm getting to break out some demon voice, oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, um, I guess let's, uh... Stop clawing at the air, menacingly. <laughs> Alright, feathers and tracks. Well, those feathers and tracks. This is my invisible like stress <laughs> ball. Dip, 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 dip. <laughs> Dalima. <laughs> this is the heart be Dalima. beating heart of my enemies. <laughs> Are those feathers and tracks at the scene of the crime really you're doing? Indeed, the remnants of Tenmatar, king of the underworld, they be. Are you a pirate now? I know, right? <laughs> the day when I once again dominate the world. Martial world is at hand. Gah, 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 gah. <sighs> The prosecution claims the feathers and tracks were planted by Jinxie. What's this? I must break these walls and go defend my little Jinxie at once. Huh? Mayor Tenma, is that you? He broke character. It. Grr. Well, now, the many pieces of silver reside within this body, but I should have expected. I should have expected nothing to send my Now, Damien, 
I guess the whole thing like my possession won't stop a father's love for his daughter. You didn't kill Alderman Kyuubi, did you? I have killed no one. The remnants of our prison have been misconstrued. The murderer is not I. For if I had stain, slain Nathmotul, raging health, I would have consumed him, leaving not to die. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Yeah. So, uh, so you're saying there must have been somebody else there? <laughs> Come to think of it, the mayor had mentioned that he'd been clubbed by the statue. Mm. Better ask about this, too. And if you could stop being a demon, my voice hurts from doing that too yeah. much. So if you could stop, please. I think the floor mentioned that you might have something new to tell me. Indeed, I have. I regretted this key but a short while ago. Uh. Behold the key to the forbidden chamber. Whoa! Is regretted one of your demonic powers, too? Well, you bah. really skimped out on that word. Is regretted one of them? I thought I said it. No, I'm you said regret. Listen, my voice right now, or my throat is like, hey, could you not be a demon anymore? Bah. I do not waste my powers on such parlor tricks. Take the key from the killer that did Damien, whereupon he swallowed it. He sought to bar the killer entry into the forbidden chamber. So he wanted to keep it shut tight? But no fingerprint shall you find upon that key. How do you know that? Wait, is that another one of your demonic powers then? One of your demonic powers? <laughs> I didn't. I thought he was gonna say demon, and then that finished One with One of your onic. demonic pals. <laughs> Foolish mortal, you would have me Tenmatar act as some asinine alchemist. But I asked the jailer, and my will was done. Quite eagerly, I must add. <laughs> I was not to serve you, malevolent. Uh, <laughs> Guess I'm not the only one he scares the living daylights out of. Um, can we ask how you use this key? We couldn't find a keyhole anywhere in or around the door. Curse that infernal door. But if I had known its manner of opening long, long ago, I would have made my return. He has a point there. Maybe Jinx seen something about the whole thing, about how the whole thing works. We got a key. That's nice. Can we wash it first? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to get the frick out of here, and I'm going to go see Jinxie at... Which, which, uh, Yokai Lane? Jinxie? No. Nope. Nope, it's just you. It's just What do you mean you. it's just me? <laughs> it's like you fought me the whole way. Hey, how's it going, okay, Apollo? Okay, you're just a QB man or foyer? Hey, Apollo, how are oh you doing? My. God, okay, <laughs> I guess I'll go back to the detention center. And maybe I have to do something with him more now. Let me, uh, let me check my uh, handy dandy notebook. Oh, show Fox the demon statue, to, to, or show Fox and demon statue to Tim. Yeah. To Tim. Okay, and now I'll ask Jinxie about stuff later. So present. Jesus. That's such a handy tool to have now. The little notes where it's like, hey, do this now. Yeah. There it is. What might I ask is that? This statue was found at the scene. Someone hit Mayor Tim over the head with it. It had been wrapped in a large cloth for the Alderman's murder. Let me see whether Damien knows about such a thing. Hmm, yes. Something wrapped in just such a cloth, does he recall? A secret gift from Alderman QB, it would seem. He, however, had not a chance to see it till now, for the cloth did conceal it. Maybe the cloth fell off or was removed after the mare was struck. Hmm, of that Damien does not know. A secret gift? Interesting. Huh. Maybe Jinxie knows something about it. I should question him about the blackmail letter, too. Let's see what he says when I show it to him. Hey, thanks for the answer and what to do, bud. Yeah. <laughs> give me that, give, yeah, whoa, I went in full circle. Give me that blackmail letter. Uh, that's Jinxie's statement. Never mind. Um, never mind. Hit the wrong thing. That where? Rawr. Where? Okay, it's over here. Blackmail letter. Oh, there we go. Why this? This is that accursed blackmail letter that was sent to Damien. Apparently somebody slipped it into the alderman's pocket. We believe someone, probably the killer, stole it from Mayor Tema's briefcase. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Grr, I'm not even going to do that again. Yeah. You have questions, do you? Very well, ask away, mortal. Could you um, say car, 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 <laughs> car, All right. Who placed this in the Ottoman's pocket? Hmm. Very few were they who knew the letter was in Damien's briefcase. So whoever knew about the blackmail letter being in the mayor's briefcase is a potential suspect in the theft and placement of the Alderman's pocket. Uh, could it have been... his doing? 
Mayor Tenma, or I mean, Mr. Taro. Did you just remember something? Indeed, I did. There was but one other who knew of that letter. Damien said Florent Labelle. Yeah. Full knowledge of the briefcase contents did that aid possess. Then he may be the blackmailer and the murder we're looking for. That is preposterous. He's the most trusted advisor. He would never betray Damien. It seems like Mayor Tenma's a bit too trusting of those around him. Still, this is huge. Now we know who might have slipped that blackmail letter in the alderman's pocket. Like out Florent Labelle, here comes justice. Let's go find Mr. LaBelle and rake him over the coals. That sounds violent. <laughs> Thanks for the help. You've just given us a major lead. Mr. Demon Man Sir thing. It's funny how he ended up being possessed by a demon and his name is Damien. <laughs> oh, man. Well, quote, possessed by a demon and quote. Yeah, I mean, there's still a chance. Yeah. But, <laughs> God, it's so weird. It is weird. Hi, right, this is you. Hmm, there's something that still bothers me. If Mr. LaBelle is the killer, what could have motivated him to open the Forbidden Chamber? We should probably search for clues. Only one problem. How do you open a locked door that doesn't have a keyhole? You just have to ask Jinxie. Let's go talk to Jinxie. Maybe she can help. True. Ah, Dalima. All right, we're going <laughs> to leave you be. You keep... You have, have, keep have fun grabbing the air. You keep joining Indiana, Indiana Jones... In, uh, Indiana Jones? Uh, I'm... I'm <laughs> Listen, You're I... You're not okay. I'm going to have me some... Some fucked up water quick. <laughs> some energized water. Yes. Yo, Kai Lane. Hey, isn't that... Uh... Uh, you okay? Uh, you dare imprison me? Jinxie! She's acting really strange. You turned to Trucy there for a second. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. He didn't really listen. He should have tears it as much as You shall pay. Oh, you shall pay dearly. All of you. J Jinxie, are you all, are, are you, are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that's... Oh, somebody, it's no, so No, she's sad. all left. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no, Jesus. Oh, is that you, Mr. Demon Liar? Morning, Jinxie. Morning? Isn't it already past noon? What am I doing here? I still remember I laid down and take a nap back at the manor. Oh, no. It must have been... Ma <sighs> Hold up. <laughs> Makurig... Mak... Makurigashi... Close enough. Makura... Makura... Gishi? It's Gishi, you dingus. Ever... Ever wake... No, ever... Ever wake... A, oh. It's just, she's just oh, that's saying fine. it weird. Yeah. Ever wake after a restless night's sleep to find your pillow in an unusual place? It's like you ever wake up upside down in your toilet bowl? Um. Yeah. That's me. Uh -huh. Um. Anyways. Or that you've been sleeping on the floor or in the hallway? I was that yokai's fault? The ma the macaroni she preys on people while they're asleep. Sounds like you just need to be tucked in really tightly, or maybe a snug sleeping bag. <laughs> Jinxie, how come you don't have any charms on your forehead? I don't. Oh, they must have fallen off. Without them, evil things can creep into me. I'd say we had a more than adequate demonstration of that just now. Yeah. I'd better reapply them. Please do. There we go. <laughs> Jinxie, there's something we wanted to ask you. Ah, there was something I wanted to tell you, too. I, I remember something else. You did? What was it? Well, what did you remember? Jinxie, can you tell us what you remembered? Well, after the trial, I remembered lots of stuff. But there was one thing I thought was really weird. Lay it on me. I'm almost afraid to ask, but that here something goes. that she <laughs> thinks is really weird. <laughs> really? What? Um, it's about the yokai feathers and tracks. They weren't there when I first opened the door. Wait, what? Are you sure? Uh-huh, my memory's crystal clear now. So you're saying they were left at the crime scene after you found it? This could spell major trouble, Apollo. Why? Because Jinxie's already accused of leaving the feathers and tracks on the scene. If they weren't there when she discovered the crime scene... It would totally fuel the claim that she fabricated the evidence later on. Oh, God. 
Jinxie's fuzzy memory of the whole incident is really working against us. The prosecution will probably say she doesn't remember planting the evidence. Good luck rebutting that! Oh man, this is not good. I sure hope she didn't plant the evidence while she was sleepwalking or something. Oh god. Oh no. What about the forbidden chamber? Can you tell us how to open it? Jinxie! You wouldn't happen to know how to, you know, open the forbidden chamber, would you? <laughs> That door doesn't even have a keyhole! Well, it's supposed to have a secret mechanism. They say you have to figure it out before the keyhole will appear. I remember some of those. <laughs> <laughs> a secret mechanism? Really? Uh-huh. It's hidden in the fox chamber. But only Alderman Cubie knew what it was and how it worked. The Alderman of Ninetales Vale sure loved his secrets. Apollo, let's go see what we can find that... Let's go see if we can find that secret mechanism. Whoa, slow down. There's something else I need to ask about. Jinxie, is there only one key to the Forbidden Chamber? Uh-huh. Even the Manor's Master Key won't open it. That's because it's a very special room that must never be opened. Guess that means nobody earned the Forbidden Chamber after the murder. After all, we know Mayor Tema took the key from the killer and swallowed it, so... So the mayor's efforts to keep the killer out of the Forbidden Chamber were not in vain! Or were they? <laughs> it's... Ugh. It's so weird whatever's going on. Yeah. Hey, let me check my notes quick. Anything else we should ask her? Show a fox and demon statue to Jinxie. Okay. Okay, thanks for the hint, game. It's a nice free walkthrough. <laughs> A legal one. Don't even gotta Google it. Father Ming Cubie made that statue. It's a token of goodwill. I think it was meant to be for Ninetales Vale and Tema Town. A token of goodwill? But the two of are fighting. Fighting? Oh, I see what you mean. The cup portion is missing. What? This statue. Is a cup holder? Originally depicted the two yokai holding up a cup in celebration. Was that broken off on, on the mayor's head? <laughs> but it sure doesn't look that way now, does it? Maybe it broke when it was used to hit Mayor Tim on the head. That would explain it. I guess the only two people who knew what it really looked like were the Alderman and I. Now it's just me, but it's a symbol of goodwill for forever be etched in my mind. Huh. Fancy. So, so it, it used, used to, to be, have a cup. Yeah, it used to be something the opposite of what it looks like. Yeah. So is there anything else we should know about Jinxie? No, that's about it. Uh, my bracelet, it's reacting. Jinxie? <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be injustice, oh, we no. trust. Jesus Christ. Hey, a ghost. No. <laughs> Detective the Fulbright. What are you doing here? I have business with this young lady, if you must know. Prosecutor Blackwell has asked me to question her. Question me? Sorry, not interested. Are you here to ask about that whole yokai affair? That's right, specifically what we want We want to ask. Ah, but I can't tell you that now, can I? <laughs> ah. Oh, come on, please. We're partners in justice, right? No, no. Prosecutor Blackwell specifically told me my questions were of the utmost justice. I will not fall for your lies and justice, we trust. <sighs> Twisted Samurai sure has his aim on a short leash. Sure has his aim? Sure has him. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so you're not a ghost? Maybe some sort of urban troll then? Now, come along, Miss Tenma, to the station with you. Um, isn't that kidnapping? He took her away. Missed my chance to see what she was lying about. Damn it. Well, at least we found out there's a secret mechanism for opening the chamber. Opening the chamber. The chamber? Opening the chamber. Let's go, Apollo. I just hope they let us in now. Get Boy, you, neither of us can talk today. No. It's also what time? Oh, 1 a.m. Yeah, that, that, that would do it too. Yeah. Whoa. Well, wait, 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 what? Wait, His hair what? is blue How's now. That wait, what? What is it? Um. Uh, His hair is blue now. I don't... I don't recall. Yeah, well, yeah, what he, the? He used to be blonde. Yeah. The fuck you doing, dog? Uh. I try. Oh yeah, it was the place. Cool. Oh, what an absolutely fabulous yeah. scent! <laughs> I'm so glad I had these carnations imported from England. Carnations, yeah. Nothing but the finest will do. 
Perhaps I, I should say, place one roses aside. Roses aren't usually that color. Okay, sorry. Now, perhaps I should place one aside for our dearly departed alderman. Hey, it's Mr. LaBelle. Paula, let's ask him about you know what. Oh, I know what. Oh, yeah. But for such fox team, we should ask about the blackmail letter. Why, if it isn't the mayor's little lawyers, what do you want with me? Oh, um, there's something we wanted to ask. What the? Where's that rain come from? You'll have to excuse me. What in the? Hello, LaBelle here. What the? Uh, That's what I said. Those things on his shoulders are cell phones? Yes, about that. You must forgive me. This whole matter with the Mayor Tema has been a complete nightmare. Where do you buy clothes like that? <laughs> Surprised? This is my own special design. It's the ultimate in functional beauty. Functional beauty? Are you sure about that? It looks a bit unwieldy to me. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you simply don't have an eye for beauty. If having an eye for beauty means looking like this guy, I'd rather be blind. Oh, dang! So, what do you want with me? Well, you know what? I'm gonna get the bottom of your shit next time, man! Oh, man. Stop spraying out of my face! And why is get your hair eyes? blue? That is the- I- can we talk about that? No. <laughs> How are we not talking about that? Can I present your fucking profile and be like, Hey, yo, why, your, why is your hair <laughs> fucking blue? Nope, can't do that. Well, you know what? That's the biggest mystery of all. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs>